Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Invoicing is not just a piece of paper that you send to your clients to get your payments done. There is so much more to having a proper invoice and having an invoicing system for your freelancing business. In this video, you are going to learn what is an invoice, why is an invoice so damn important, how does it look like and how you can create an invoicing system and use a software that I'm going to recommend that's going to ease this entire, entire process. Hi guys, I'm Chavi Agarwal. I'm a YouTuber, a full-time blogger, an online business coach who has helped more than 100 plus students start and grow their freelancing businesses and blogging businesses. We create videos that are about freelancing, making money online and working from home. So if that's what you're interested in, and I know you are, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button below and follow my channel. Now let's get started. The first thing that I want to cover, which is extremely basic, is what is an invoice. Now, an invoice is something wherein uh, you are going to give a lot of details about the project that you're working on, the rates that you have, the amount that you have to receive, the terms and conditions and all of that with your client. Now, there is a freelancer, there is a client. The freelancer, that is you, are going to provide some kind of service to your client. That could be content writing services, social media management, virtual assistant. There are thousands of services that you can provide as a freelance. For that service, the client is going to pay you a fee. And this entire transaction is recorded in an invoice and it is specified to the transaction that is happening and you're charging for. This is a simple explanation of what an invoice is. So an invoice is going to tell you what you worked on, what's your rate per item, what is the amount that is due for the client, to who you are billing, by whom it is being billed, the date of the billing, the due date, and all those things are recorded in an invoice. And invoice is just as important as a contract in your freelancing business. Both of them cannot be avoided and both of them should be a part of your business and you should have a streamlined process around both of them. Why is an invoice so important? Now, there are multiple reasons why I say an invoice is such an important item in your freelancing journey. The first and foremost is that you don't want to be chasing clients. Now, if you don't have an invoicing process, if you don't have an invoicing software that you're using right now, you're going to be emailing them a PDF, which you're going to probably create in Word or Canva, right? Every time you have to set a reminder, you have to check it out manually. You have to send reminders manually. You have to check whether or not something has been paid manually. That includes a lot of your time that could instead be used for marketing purposes and client acquisition purposes. Okay. A invoice is all, an invoice also gives a lot of clarity in your business. So what has already been delivered? What's your rate? If there is any terms and conditions that you want your client to know about when you're invoicing them the first time. Something like, you know, you follow net 15. That means that from the date of invoice, the, the due date is going to be 15 days. So they have to pay that invoice within 15 days. So your net payment terms, if you're going to charge interest, if there is any delay payment, that needs to be uh, also included in an invoice. Those small terms and conditions that you would want your client to know about, it's already there in your contract. But you want to highlight that in your invoice, you're going to include that in as well. So that's also very important. That gives a lot of clarity. It also makes this entire process extremely simple for your client. Now, what they have to do is to basically send your invoice to the accounting team. They have your name, they have your uh, address, they have your GST. If you have one, it's not required initially. And they know how to pay, how to pay you. So whether it's a PayPal email, your bank account details, everything is mentioned in the invoice itself. So it becomes very clear, it becomes very easy to follow. And there is not a lot of back and forth happening, trying to get all the details they require for making the payments and thereby there is no delay in payments. Okay. The next and the last thing why an invoice is, invoice is important and invoicing system is important is because it will help you assess your freelancing business at the end of the year. And when it comes to taxation, you will have everything in one place and trust me, as you grow your freelancing business, this is going to be extremely important and you don't have to go back and forth in your email trying to search for 
all those emails where you attach the PDFs, no, that's not the that's not how professional and pro freelancers do it. That's not how you are supposed to do it. I'm going to touch upon how you can do it professionally and in a very easy way and with a free software. So these are the few reasons why I say um, invoicing system and having good invoices in place is very important for your freelancing business. Now, besides free, uh, besides invoicing as well, there are so many admin tasks that you must be doing, right? So sending out uh, invoices manually, for example, sending reminders manually, checking, logging into PayPal and checking whether it has been paid, logging into Stripe and checking whether it has been paid, logging into your bank account and checking whether it has been paid. If you're creating an invoice and you have agreed with your client that they are going to pay the processing fee, you're going to be sitting down with a calculator trying to understand how much is the processing fee. And that's going to be different for each and every country and it's going to take you a lot of time, right? So that's an additional, um, I would say a waste of time that's happening in your process. You're going to be using different tools for let's say scheduling your uh, calls with your clients, selling any product or consultation calls that you're doing. If there is somebody who wants to support you, donate you, you are using another app for that. If you have a freebie or a lead magnet, you're using another software for that, right? So there are so many tools that you're using and your time is distributed within all of that and there is no integration of all of that. So it takes a lot of time and time is money when you're a freelancer. That was my experience as a freelancer. I used to waste a ton of time. Uh, now I realized this only when I sat down and understood that each and every day I was spending at least one, one and a half hours on these admin tasks. It was draining me. I could utilize that time sleeping or eating or doing something I enjoy or utilizing that time growing my business wherein I'm networking with people or doing activities which will help me acquire more clients, right? So that's a waste of time that you're doing, spending your time on these admin tasks when it can be easily done. So a few weeks back, I started using this tool called Peach Pay. It's a brilliant one and all tool for freelancers and service providers. It's a brilliant tool that you have come up with which has made the life of freelancers easy. I've been using this tool for past few weeks and I recommend it because I know how much of a hassle it has decreased for me and for my students of the profit plan. I know it works, I trust it and all the opinions that I'm going to give you right after this is my honest opinion, okay? So stay with me and I'm going to tell you how this free tool that is speech pay is going to transform your freelancing business. So I will take you inside the dashboard to show you exactly how speech pay works and exactly how it can help you transform and streamline your freelancing business. So let's go. So this is how speech pay looks like. This is the profile page of speech pay that you will be creating. I'm going to go through that first. I like how simple, simple they have made the profile and it looks good. You also get a personalized URL and a QR code for yourself and a short link. Uh, you can use a photo here, your name, what you do, basically your USP. That is what you do for who you do and what kind of results you can drive for them. You can have a support or donate button, book a call here and offer paid sessions as well. Here you can add your services, your products or your content. The best part about PeachPay is you can sell your products and give access to your free content without any hassle. So you can put up your free content here. You can also sell your content here like I am selling my uh, freelancing academy that is the profit plan, the kickstart your business bundle, the block profit that is a one-on-one -on -one block coaching, the block planner the client magnet bundle and all of that. And at the end of your profile, you will also get to link out to your social networks. That is YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, which makes it a complete profile that you can use across your social media channels as well. So I'm going to go through one by one. So what you do is um, let's click on support and donate. This allows people to support you in any way or to donate you money. So you're sending money to Chavi Agarwal. You can do this one time or you can do this monthly. It already has certain amount of uh, money here, so 25, 50, I, um, 100, etc. And the message, and you, they can put their credit card details or the debit card details here and pay you 100. So it's a one um, click platform. They don't have to keep going to different platforms to be able to support you or donate you. It's showing in INA because the basic currency that I have set for PHP is INA. If you are in any other country, you can use uh, your currency as the basic currency. So instead of using something like Patreon, you can also use PeachPay. Now, if you're a freelancer, you obviously have discovery calls. So you can click on book a call and um, your clients can click on book a call and book a call with you. 
so they will put their name their email id their social profiles the date and the time that they want to have a call on the time zone preferable method of communication so whether it is a phone number or a zoom call or a google meet the reason for this call and they can book the call once they book the call you will see all your calls that up upcoming calls or the call request on the call tab here so it, everything is in one place so that you don't miss out anything extremely amazing platform because then you can integrate your calendar and there will be no conflicts in the call you can also offer paid sessions so offer all consultations for free set a price per consultation offer any number of consultations for a monthly price you can put the description here and uh, do you have a calendar such as google calendar or calendly if so you can add the url here and then save it so somebody if somebody wants to set up a consult consultation call with you they can do so as well if you are going to sell products or services you will have to click this you can add the content images the title the description whether it is a paid offer or a free offer you can add a sample here your additional content here set up the pricing here and you are set to go it's as simple as that it is an extremely intuitive platform the best thing that peachpay has done is to allow small freelancers medium sized freelancers to actually sell content on this platform itself without having to pay any kind of monthly fee which is applicable to many other platforms like sendout you can click on add a link and come here so you can add content images title description put the link here if you have any kind of link to a free content add the free label collect the name and email of users who want to view this link so that you can also create an email list for yourself so they are upgrading they are adding features and it is getting better and better day by day you can save this offer and it will start showing up on your profile so when i started using peachpay the offer paid sessions the integration with google calendar and to collect email addresses weren't available but now it is so they are adding new features each and every day which makes it a super platform to get on right now you don't even have to pay a penny and that's the loveliest part of using peachpay i'm just going to go tab by tab so this is the calls tab we have already discussed this you can check out your call requests and upcoming calls here this is the customers tab so whoever you have dealt with in any form so whether it's pay me page manual invoice offer offer link call booking any kind of um option that you have used you can see all the customer names here with their email ids phone numbers billing information and the source as well so you can also filter it out my suggestion you can add a customer as soon as you sign a contract with them because it's the easiest and you will have all the information that you need right away so once you're adding a customer they are going to ask you the customer name email phone number their address and you can save it so next time you're going to raise an invoice you can just select your customer from there instead of going and fetching out all the details the third tab is invoices you're going to see all the active invoices because that's what is selected here you can check out all invoices from here active invoices archived invoices drafts paid paid partially unpaid overdue you can filter out with whatever option you want and see what kind of invoices are unpaid or overdue for whom you have to send reminders or what's paid partially so it makes it extremely simple and it doesn't clutter everything together the option to filter is an amazing option because it makes it very easy for you to understand what you need to follow up with or what's completely unpaid so you need to send an email or call the client and makes your business extremely simple and streamlined you can export it in xls or csv and then you can add a new invoice so you can add a customer there which i don't recommend like i said you should add your customers customer details when you sign a contract with them so you can select the customer name from here select an existing customer put your project name here the due date send reminders automatically so check this box always this is the message section which i use to put in certain terms and conditions that i have with my clients so for example if i'm um, following net 30 or net 15 payments that is if i'm going to raise an invoice today they have 15 or 30 days to make the payment so whatever your payment terms are you can put that here so net 15 payments for example if there is any interest on late payments if you want to give them any kind of details um, for example if you're in if you want indian bank transfer so you can put your account details here If this is a first invoice you're raising, you can also put in that 50% needs to be paid in advance for you for you to start the project. So all those kind of terms and conditions that you want to highlight with your client can be put here. You can select from 135 currencies. There is INR here, USD, GBP, EUR, whatever 
currency you're dealing with, it will be available here. You can okay. put the description here, the unit cost, the quantity and the total cost and keep adding lines unless till the time that you have not covered everything that you're doing for the client. These are the payment methods right now. That is ACH bank transfer card that uses Stripe and Coinbase for cryptocurrency. This is one of the loveliest features of PeachPay. It allows you to select who pays the transaction fees. First of all, it's extremely, extremely difficult and tedious to figure out how much transaction fee you're being charged, depending on which country you are in. And then, you know, split it between the client and you or whatever you are going to do with it. So this just makes it easy and saves your time by giving you three options. The three options are the client pays the entire transaction fees, you pay the entire transaction fees, or you, like Smarties, split the fees in half with the client. While I recommend that you split the fees in half with the clients as you're starting out as a beginner freelancer, but as you grow, you should be including your transaction fees within the pricing model itself and select I will pay the transaction fees completely because that comes across as a pro freelancer and that's what you want to be. It will show the total amount here. You can preview it, save it and send it. Your customer information already has the email, so it's going to send it to that email ID. We have already touched on the profile section and the pay me page, which is help, which allows you to get support or get donations from your um, viewers, audience, listeners, etc. This is going to take you over settings a little bit. So your business name, your email ID, phone number, business address, ACH fees to the clients, your craft that is you're an influencer or you are a digital marketer etc these are the basic things i have not updated my business address so you can see that it is not mandatory for you to fill out these kind of details as well so we integrated it with stripe already i am not in the us so i don't have ach bank transfer and i don't have coinbase so i cannot connect to that but if you have you can Splitting transaction fee it's the default model is i will pay the transaction fees like i said i Recommend that if you want to be a pro freelancer, you should be including your transaction fee with it, your pricing. The default currency is INR, so you can change it according to which country you are in. You can update your donation values as well. So it was 25, 50 and 100. I don't use support and donate. But if you are, you can set up your donation values here. And transfer method is card. Like I said, you also have a QR code. So you can get that from here. You can download it here. There is a pay me button that you can use on your website. And then there is a book a call setting that you can check out. So you can embed the book a call button as well. There is also this another option if you want to show donation alert overlay when you are streaming in any of these platforms like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook for creators, you can choose the overlay style from here. Copy paste the URL in your OBS. So you can have a transparent overlay or a peachy overlay. You also have a help section here for instant answers. So if you have any confusions, you can check out your answers from here but it is extremely intuitive they also have a facebook group that you can join in case you have questions if in case you are facing any problems or in case you want to give them a suggestion to improve their entire platform you can go to their facebook group and you can put in your comments there your questions there and you will get help and that's how amazing it is so i'm going to leave the link to the facebook group as well leave the link to the tool as well and I hope you're going to check this out because this can change and transform the way you perform your freelancing businesses. So that was PeachPay. That's the entire system of how it works. And it is extremely easy. It is extremely um, intuitive. It's uh, user friendly. You will know exactly what you need to do once you have logged in and signed up. A lot of videos that I have seen on invoicing and such tools include recommendations like using Word templates, Canva templates, that's time consuming. If you're starting out as a hobby, not to make it your full-time business as a freelancer, I would say you can go for that initially, but it's going to become tedious. It's going to become um, stressful. It's going to become an add-on task which you're going to hate. And that's what um, PeachPay is going to make it easy for you. All you have to do is to quickly add your customer detail, um, generate an invoice, send it to them, send automatic reminders, just with a click, you're going to decide who's going to pay the processing fee, how they are going to pay it, when they're going to pay it. You can schedule calls, you can sell your products, you can give your freebies, you can accept donations. There are just so many features that PeachPay has right now. They are also adding a lot more features that's going to make this extremely simple. They're going to integrate it with many, many tools like Google Calendar, which is going to make your life easy. You don't have to use multiple tools um, for running your freelancing business. With PeachPay, everything is going to get simplified. Everything is going to uh, be streamlined. And when you're going to talk to a client, when you're going to send them an invoice, you're going to be working like a pro freelancer. And 
What does pro freelancers do? They charge high rates because they deserve it for the experience that they provide to their clients. Okay, so remember that the link to PeachPay is in the description box below. So use that link, sign up for PeachPay. It's free of cost. You don't have to pay a penny for using any of the features that we have talked about. So it's really my favorite and a favorite of my students as well. I hope this video helped you out. In case you have any questions about invoicing, about freelancing or this video, all you have to do is to comment below and let me know. If you have any recommendations on what I should be making videos on, please feel free to give me the suggestions in the comments below and I will definitely take that up. You can see two more videos on how to start freelancing. Go watch them. It's going to help you out and grow your freelancing business. And last but not the least, if you like this video, please do share it with your friends and family. Like the video and click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to follow and not miss out on any videos that I create. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.